Welcome, Crusaders, and thanks for joining me for Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. We're going to head back outside, and I believe we're going to head with Camellia to Gorm's Mansion. See what's going on there. Uh, there's something going on between those two, and we're going to find out what that is. All right, I think we're going to swap in Daren in place of Wolgif for this. All right, I kind of wanted to take a look around the map here and see. It feels like we've just about visited. There's stuff down here. Worms Mansion, and then we've got Topaz Solutions. Alchemist Laboratory. Then the Tirabade Residence, clear down here. I believe that's all the locations we've uncovered. So let's head to the mansion. Okay, we stopped here on the way. We've had a couple of random encounters along the way that we've taken care of quickly. This failed ritual site just popped up. It's just a consumable pickup. Let's head there first and pick up whatever's there. Oh, we got another encounter here. You hurt my friends. Okay, we're just real-timing these and beating our way through them pretty quickly. There we go. These seem to be uh, popping up pretty regularly as we travel around the map. Thanks everybody for being here with me. I really appreciate it. It's uh, really uh, been fun so far. It seems like we're maybe kind of getting close to at least being able to uh, attack the Grey Garrison. I don't know if that's kind of the end of the first chapter or not. It seems like that would be sort of logical. All right, we've got Horgus here. Ah, there you are at last. You certainly took your time. I thought perhaps you got lost on the way here. I was already regretting not drawing you a map. Horgus's relief is palpable even though his, even through his grousing. It's a tragedy to see one's house in such a sorry state. And I always had a few guards in my service, you know. I hope those blockheads died honorably and didn't simply flee at the sign, first sign of danger. Orgus turns toward the corridor with a pensive expression on his face. My manor, you see, contains several items that are of great value to me. I wish to retrieve them before they are discovered by my fellow citizens, who, in the current chaos, seem to have taken to thieving and marauding like ducks to water. So, here's what I want you to do. Take a stroll through my house, peek into the rooms, and if you find anyone, kill them on the spot. That'll teach any other opportunist to stay away from Horgus Worm's Manor. While I was standing here by the entrance, I could clearly hear the sound of someone rooting around inside. Any possessions of mine you find in there you can keep. It's all as good as lost to me anyway. When you're sure the house is empty, give me a signal from my study window. Wave a torch around or something like that. You can decide when you get there. Darren, I've done many things in my life, but playing the part of an intrepid mercenary rummaging through someone else's tastelessly decorated and poorly planned mansion is a novelty to me. How droll. I deeply regret that you had to participate in this, my dear Count. Come now, I love a good caper, even when the setting offends my aesthetic sensibilities. What are these valuable items that they're worth risking your life by going back to the manor? Never you mind. I'm paying you to clear out the ruffians inside, not to qu ask questions. Orgus glares at you for a few seconds before dropping his gaze. In any case, you will learn what this is all about just as soon as you clear the way for me, or the way to my study for me. So restrain your curiosity for now. Ember, you're sad about your things. Because of them, you want us to kill people. <laughs> That's about the half of it, huh? Don't lecture me about right and wrong. If it gives you some comfort, let me assure you that marauders are not innocent little lambs. Far from it. They would gladly kill you to get their hands on my possessions. Mark my words. You're not coming with me? The very notion. You think I hire guards to do my bidding, just so I can put myself in danger along with them? No, no, no. I've taken on my fair share of risk already today. Camellia. But all the same, you took the risk of coming here even though you were well aware of the danger. What is it that draws you here so strongly, like a moth to a flame? Camellia. That's enough. 
Oh, it seems I hit a sore spot. She quickly covers the smile that flits across her face. All right. Well, get on with it. Or are you waiting for a special order? I shall await your signal. Horgus pauses. And good luck in there, I suppose. All right. Make sure the mansion is safe. Well, I stand let's, ready. let's get ready. Okay, we're set to go. We did get the uh, delay poison on. Uh, some remove fear. Try, we put the magical vestment on seal it. It doesn't, I can't tell if it's doing anything or not. I'm not sure we did that right. That door was closed. Let's Let us check the open door first. Whoa, where are you going there? Oh, we're on uh, real time. He was just going to head right in there, I guess. Not waiting for anybody else. Okay. Well, we actually might be okay real timing some of this, but just don't know. Don't like it that he's up there all by himself. We'll see if we can put the slumber on that Cambion back there. Good. All right, let's finish him off. Good deal. Now we can loot some of Horgus's stuff. Tainted foul. Yum. Onion soup recipe. Do we have to learn those uh, like we did in Kingmaker? I think we do. Yeah, okay. It's like a servant's quarters here or something. Closed door there. Oh, this is just back out into the main hallway. Okay. I hear snarling or something. Is it coming from in here? Box filled with a variety of whips and floggers. Oh. Orgus, what do you have going on here? Chains, handcuffs, shackles, a collection of to a rival a collection to rival a prisons. Goodness. Our path leads on. That's just got a lot spicier. What's in here? Baphomet cultist. You see us yet? Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. Take him out. You won't survive is not an option. We'll send Zeke and Saxon over here. Strike as one. <laughs> There's another one back there. Amber, you can put him to sleep. Or not. Amelia. The spirits demand your blood. I feel like at least it seems like we're uh, pretty uh, above these guys level. Let's just take care of this. Not overthink it. There we go. Good. Now it looks like we've got a ton of bookshelves to check out here. Wow, are we going to need to read all these? Prodigal Sons, Guide for Travelers on the Nature of the Divine. Alright, let's pick up all the books we find and then I guess we're going to have to go through the inventory and open all those. Adventures of a Fearless Crusader, Briggy the Sausage Maker. Door there. That would be a, an easy one to miss. Crusades. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick look through all those books we just picked up. And just see if we get anything from them. 
Okay, I think I read all the books and it doesn't appear that we learned anything too interesting from them. So this is the door we opened back in the main entryway. But it looks like this might go to the same place. Trying to get our formation set up here. There's upstairs, okay. The door to the garden is blocked. Opening it is currently impossible. Heavy blunt object was clearly used to try to break down the door. The lock is broken and the door cannot be opened. Looks like that goes to a basement or something. We've got enemies in here. Let's Attack. go get them. Crusading isn't that boring after all. See, Zeke, you go get we this guy. <laughs> That's right, we've got the, uh, the living weapon Zeke's using now. Made it, uh, be a longsword. We also last time picked up this slithery fox thing. Not sure I like that very well, but, uh, we'll keep him around. Uh, why was our... We have zero percent chance to pick that lock. Twenty-five percent with a lock pick. We tried breaking it, I guess. All right, magical scraps. Oh, it's because I didn't have anybody else selected. Oh, I want to put on. Zeke's got this. Signet. Signet. Uh, let's see, how do we use that out here? We want to uh, turn up his perception. Here we go. Should probably make a point to make sure we always have that on something. Seems like perception is. If we're walking around somewhere, we might as well have that on. Okay, second floor, I guess. Why is that still cloudy over there? Weren't we just over there? Godspeed. That's really strange. We were in this room. Weird. All right. Second floor. Got an abracandaloo in there. Rely on me. Uh, did I mess up again? Okay, let's let's just go get him. Oh, he doesn't see us yet. Are we in Here's trouble yet? Save the last one for me. Let's go. This looks like quite the bath in here. All right, we've got guys in here. Just not too worried about anything here so far. Let's charge her over to this wizard. We will prevail. Your performance is lacking. You are Zeke's lacking. going after them. That's good. Amelia, go get this guy. Zila, get him. We're actually taking some hits here, but I think we'll manage. Oh, what the... Uh, quite the knockback there. Okay, finish him off. Okay, we could use a little bit of healing here. Welcome your company. So... Another door there. Let's check out this room first. Cultist Slayer back there. The heartbeat quickens. Uh, see it, Sila. Go get this guy. The go get that guy. Uh, 
Man, Steel is taking some hits. The channel there. Darren. Okay, somebody saw something over there. Got another bathtub in here. I guess every suite has its own bath. Scroll of displacement, remove disease, stone skin. But that seems to leave this doorway over here. Oh, we got a babo in here. Let's uh, slow things down then. They will break against Shouldn't have walked her in there like that. A babo and a cambion. Who knows what else? Let's get some protection from evil. Oh, we got more than one bap -ow. Forget what these things do. I think the one we fought before wasn't too bad. We killed him pretty quickly though, so he didn't have a chance to do much to us. Do the uh, smite. Into the fray. Oh, he's right there. Camellia, let's do the battle spirit. Move in here. Lawn. Let's try to get some big shots on this guy. This. Oh, Daren was staggered. I did not see that happen. I did not see Daren pick up the staggered condition. It makes me wonder. You know, he's got the protection from evil. I was like, did he somehow get staggered by that? That's weird. I didn't I didn't catch that. But I have missed things like that before. I went through that whole Tower of Estrid area without noticing the uh, beneficial condition we had received from those spirit vision things. Amber got that one taken care of. All right, Zeke, let's... We can do the align weapon. If we do the align weapon, good. So we should see if they actually have damage reduction versus, yeah, except for good. <laughs> Let's put that on. They hit hard. Let's see if she can coup de grace this one. Don't strain too hard there. Uh, let's get you in here, Zeke. Strike as one. Oh, dang it. They Don't took Sila out. Me. We can use the cure serious wounds on her. You've crossed the wrong Come on, take out both bow bows. Thank you. Is they're hitting hard and seal is down again. All right, let's make sure. I don't know. Can we see how far we are from something? 
Like we may not actually be in range for the point blank shot, so it might be good to toggle that and make sure that he is. It looks like he is. Yeah. I don't necessarily want him always just wandering into range, but when in uh in instances like that, we want to make sure he's close I enough. Will see to your demise. I'll cut you wide open. All right, Lon, let's finish this. this. The danger has passed. Now you can signal Horgus from the window of his study. All right. Let's get Sela healed up a little bit. I was successful Can't in my hide search. From me. Oh, we got a secret door over here. Locked. Got a trapped chest over here. What's on your mind? I Amelia. wonder. Hmm. Can you disarm that? Okay. I am helpful, am I not? You are. Short bow. Short bow of code. Grands and swear a plus one bonus on attack rolls against chaotic creatures. All right. Give Horgus the signal. I guess we're ready to do that. The mansion is clear. You've, you're alive. Fine work. My secret door remains unopened. Fantastic. I wasn't too late. Camellia's over there conspiring with him as well. Family secrets about to be revealed. It's so thrilling. What are you about to reveal here, Horgus? The paintings are right where I left them. Very good. Horgus Worm thanks you for your help. There's something off about the paintings in front of you. The blonde haired boy in the Gorm family colors doesn't look like Horgus in the least. The family portrait depicts Horgus alongside an unknown half elf woman and a little girl who bears a striking resemblance to Camellia. Who's that in the paintings, Horgus? So you've noticed. It seems there's no point in hiding it anymore. Horgus is silent for a few moments then sighs and presses his lips into a hard line. You see, I have two secrets. Camellia is, in fact, my daughter, and I am not the real Horgus Gorm. You're not Horgus Gorm. My real name is Darian Witt. My parents were the servants of the real Gorms at their mansion on the eastern edge of Mendev. The Gorms were generous and noble, but short-sighted. They burned through most of their fortune on charity when instead they should have taken better care of guarding the mansion. When I was ten or so, I used to play in the garden with the real Horgus Worm, who was just my age. I have no idea where the demons came from. Horgus ran to the mansion and I bolted in the opposite direction. He was captured and killed and I wasn't. Crusaders came from the nearest city to aid us, but I was the only one who survived. They asked me my name, and I said I was Horgus Gorm. That's the whole story. Camellia, such a heart-wrenching tale, it never fails to bring tears to my eyes. You are in no position to judge me, Camellia. Horgus's hands curl into fists, but his voice sounds more tired than angry. You're right, I'm not. Darren's expression is strained as he listens to Horgus's confession. A small boy in a manor under attack by demons. Such a familiar tale. Mendev has many such tales, but there are rarely any survivors. Take poor Horgus, for instance. He didn't make it. You are fortunate, Count. Assuming you are not hiding anything. Horgus gives an awkward shrug, making it clear he was speaking in jest. How do we go? Lawful or good? Or do we just let his business be his own? Well, you were just a scared child. I have nothing but sympathy for you. Besides, your lies 
didn't hurt anyone, as far as we know, I guess. Zeke might be being a little naive here. Orgus seems surprised, as if he had been expecting a much stronger reaction. Hmm. I never mind. I'd only like to assure you that your claim about not hurting anyone is absolutely correct. The vast fortune of the Gorms had no rightful heirs. If there had been any heirs, I would most definitely have transferred ownership to them. Well, yeah, you say so. Sila, you committed a crime, and since then, you have tried to atone. But, let me guess. No matter how much good you do, the guilt stays with you. It's true. How do you know this? I also made a mistake as a child. Mine was much more serious than yours, in deed and in consequences. Many years passed before I learned to be at peace with it, so I'm in no position to judge you. It is difficult for me to speak openly about secrets which I have kept all these years. I have been hostage to them my entire life, strange as that sounds. Amelia is your daughter? Yes, illegitimate, that is to say. Orgus's cheeks redden. She has resided in this house since birth. The staff thought she was a niece or the daughter of a friend who died in the Crusades. I never disabused them of their notions. Her mother, Iris, was a half-elf of humble origins. She worked in the gardens here. I wanted to unite the Gwyrm family with another noble line. The Gwyrm name could not be permitted to mix with commoners and thereby plunge into insignificance. Iris did not protest and we successfully hid our connection. And when Camellia was born, I did not claim her as my own. As far as Mendev knows, Camellia is the daughter of a Gwyrm family servant who died over ten years ago. And before you start telling me what a terrible father I am, I want to tell you something. My daughter wanted for nothing. All her whims were fulfilled as quickly as they arose. I hired the best teachers and bought her the best books. She always ate well and had warm clothes. Isn't that what a parent does? Camellia, you have discovered my most terrible secret. Father cares so much about the Gwyrm name that he raised me in our mansion, hiding me away from the whole world. I'll always be grateful to my father for everything he's done for me, even if Mendev society disapproves of some of his decisions. Would it be insolent of me to beg for your discretion regarding what you know about us? Daren, damn it all, and I thought Horgus as dull as a ditch, as ditch water. But now he brings this delightful offering of a stolen identity, a secret half-elf lover and a bastard daughter. I'm afraid you've rather put me to shame. I'll keep your secret, Camellia. The hint of a smile plays on Camellia's mouth. Please accept my humblest thanks. Orgus casts a wary look at her but remains silent. What's it like to live your whole life under someone else's name? When I was a boy, I used to hate Horgus. The condescension most of all, the pity on his face, his smile when he called me to join him in his games. The difference in our birthright wasn't fair. Envy clouded my mind. When the demons killed him and not me, and I thought it was a gift of fate, I seized my good fortune with both hands and never let go. When I told them my name was Horgus Gorm, the only heir to the vast fortune of the Gorm family, on that day, life was fair. Unfortunately, it took me many years to see the generosity behind the condescension and feel the compassion behind the pity. I discovered far too late that Horgus was my friend, even when I didn't feel myself his. I never accepted the hand of friendship he offered until it was far too late. But now what can I do? Reveal the truth, reject the name, and allow it to sink into oblivion? Would my friend Horgus want this? Horgus shakes his head, tired. I bear the name of Horgus Worm with the pride and dignity it deserves. As a banner on the battlefield, I will multiply its merits. The Gorm family will not be forgotten. I still serve Horgus Worm. Horgus attempts a smile, but the result is pathetic. What are you planning to do now? Well, first and foremost, I shall reward you handsomely for your help. And then, I shall burn these portraits. I have kept them all this time out of misplaced sentiment, but they serve no purpose now. My ravaged home will likely be picked to the bone and this secret room will inevitably be discovered. I don't want these paintings to be seen by anyone else. 
let's see. Well, you certainly earned your payment. Here, it was a pleasure doing business with you. 10,000 gold. Morgus is silent for a while. Camellia, I can tell from your face that you enjoyed fighting the demons in this worthy party. I only ask one thing. Are you certain? Camellia doesn't answer, but looks at Horgus with a half-smile lingering on her lips. Well then, clearly I can no longer keep you safe. Our house is destroyed, our servants scattered or dead. Horgus stares into his daughter's face as though he is seeking the answer to an unasked question. Then he turns his attention to you. But now, follow me. We'll make sure that no one ever again discovers the secrets of Horgus Squirm. Wow, okay. Well, that wasn't quite what I expected. Kind of felt like those two were up to no good. Uh, but maybe merely uh, guarding the family secret. It's not quite as uh, sinister as I thought. I am helpful, am I not? Got some armor here. Medium armor. That might be, actually be an upgrade for Zeke. Yeah. Throw that on. Well, Horgus Worm's noble name remains unblemished. For now, at least. He's back out here. This. Oh, that's the paintings he's burning. Okay. Well, that's then. That's that then. Thank you for your help. Farewell and watch over Camellia. All right. I guess we're done here then. I will guide from the look us. of it. Okay, so I found another room we hadn't been into, and walked right into the trap. Fire right to the face. Anything else of interest in here? Zeke, for some reason, is up in the air. I'm not sure what's going on there. Not falter. Saddle up. Weird. All right, I believe we're done here, at least for now. It feels like maybe that's not the end of the story with Orgus and Camellia, but we will see. So next time, I think there were a couple of spots on the map we hadn't been to so we might just check those out maybe even just one and then I, I mean we're probably at the point then of just heading to the gray garrison seems like uh doesn't feel like there's much else to do but we'll find out i guess thanks for being here i really appreciate it and i hope to see you again here with me next time Bye bye